Hi, Creative Katie Karen Bergdahl here. Welcome to my channel and to my version of the Index Card a Day Create Every Day series. Today, the prompt that I'm following is magenta, and the technique that I'm going to be featuring is removing paint through a stencil. This was a really fun project. So I'm starting with the 4x4 cardboard coasters. Now I've put a coat of gesso on the top and the sides just to seal it in. And of course I'm going to be using quinacridone magenta, but a long time ago at the very beginning of my art journaling work, I realized, I discovered that if you mix teal and quinacridone magenta, you get this lovely purple. So I'm going to mix both of those colors right on this coaster. There's the bright aqua and there's the teal and there you can see how it makes that lovely purple. I, I don't want this to be one tone. I want this to, you know, be a little more aqua in some places, some straight up quinacridone magenta and some mixed and different uh, shades of that lovely purple that you get. Which is why I kind of tossed out the uh, paintbrush. Now this is a stencil. It is layered wallpaper and it's a crafter's workshop and I'm just I placed it on there while the paint is still wet and I'm using a baby wipe and lifting up the paint through the stencil and then just quickly wiping it off the stencil. I'm not one of those people who needs their stencil to be perfectly clean and there's the effect that you get and I'm I'm loving it. I wanted a little bit of marks. Now I planned on putting the stencil back on and stenciling with the magenta or with the with the bright aqua but I like this so much that I just left it. Kind of got that grungy look happening which this stencil has in itself by itself. Now with these coasters I'm thinking because the coaster is intended to soft, soft up moisture I'm just sealing the sides with paint as well. Now I'll put a link to where I purchased these coasters from, as well as a link to a video where I turn these into a fridge magnet. And actually that's what this one is going to be. This one's actually going to end up being a gift for a friend. So definitely this technique. I've tried this technique before and never had much success with it. This is probably the first time and I think I'm going to be trying it again, um, getting different effects with it because you get a very different look. So I stamped out the Crazy Bird, Tim Holtz Crazy Bird. I have a whole bunch of these stamped out on copy paper that are in my stash. So I have one of those and I'm going to paint him or her of course magenta to go with the theme but you could make this very same one with any color combination but what you're going to know here notice here is the colors that I'm using on the top on the focal images are also colors that you find in the background and that ties everything together the other clipboard or to-do list that you saw was a free printable and I'm going to alter that somewhere as well. Just thinning down the paint a little bit and just painting this. Because I am planning on varnishing this I'm not using any water activated um, paint color mediums like watercolor or my Neo Color 2s because I don't want that to reactivate when I varnish it at the end. Drawing it, I think I'm reaching for the yellow paint and I'm going to paint his beak here. These 4x4 
cardboard coasters are the perfect size for using, if you have a lot of stamps, you can use those stamps as focal images and it's a perfect size for this four by four. So there's the to-do list and I actually got some paint on it. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to cover that up or end up printing it up. But I was able to put the crazy bird right on top of where the smudge was. So you don't even see that. And there is my quote. And the quote that I have in here is one of the quotes that I have in my quote journal theme for this month, which is be you. And it says, put yourself at the top of your to-do list. So I cut out this clipboard separately and it has this dark rim around ring around it and I'm cutting that off and then I'm going to glue this onto the bottom piece. You'll see what I mean. So to see all my iCAD creations, you can follow me on Instagram at Creative Katie. I don't think at this point in time that I'm going to be doing a video for everything that I create. And that way you're going to see everything and get all the details. So underneath this, I am working on Tim Holtz's um, glass media mat and I love it. And as you saw, I am cutting right on it with the X-Acto knife. I believe that it said that you can do this. It has not scratched my plate. If you choose to do that, like do your own research and make sure. And I apologize that this is out of frame here. Just kind of lining it up and figuring out the orientation that I want with the quote, where am I gonna want the quote? And I'm looking at the coaster and, and the patterns. And I stick it in that top left-hand corner where I do because there's a splotch of the teal there. It isn't quite as nice as the rest of it. So when you're putting the focal image on, you can cover up parts that you may not like. So this, I cut out the shape of the clipboard from my clip art. And I've mixed the magenta and the bright aqua and to get this lovely purple. Now I have purples in a tube, but this color is just absolutely awesome. And it totally connects with what's on the background. So now you can see how I'm going to layer up the to-do list part on top of this purple. So in the focal image, we have this one that has the purple and the crazy bird, which is the magenta color, which are both found in the background. And that just helps tie everything together. just arranging the quote and everything, fi finalizing exactly where I want to put it. And I'm gonna glue the bird down onto the clipboard. And give him a dry. I use matte gel medium, I don't want the gloss there. But at the end, I could varnish it with the gloss gel medium. So the quote says, put yourself at the top of your to-do list. So I found these little letters and this was a dollar, two dollar purchase at Michael's. And I found the word me and I'm just going to use my archival ink and I'm going to stamp the word me at the top of my to do list.
when you're working on small surfaces, you don't necessarily have to do so many. Don't, you know, use too many stencils. I mean, here, this is a very simple project. We have two basic colors of paint, one stencil, and a couple focal points. So right now I'm, I'm thinning silver paint and I'm splattering it. And you can't really t see the effect of that on camera here, but it really adds that just little, little sparkle, little shimmer to it. Looks quite nice in real life. And I decide I'm going to get some black paint and I'm just going to edge the focal image, get rid of the white edges, and it kind of shades a little bit in the front as well. It just adds that little bit more interest and detail. And I'm just applying that with a makeup sponge. And I'll choose to go over it twice or three times as opposed to trying to use too much paint at one time. Now I have the black paint out and I'm using an angle brush and I'm using the float acrylic technique and I'm shading the bird and the to-do list just to add I have a feeling I'll use my crazy birds and my crazy cats a little more on these, um, the iCads, whether I'm doing it in the quote journal, the five by seven mini, mini repurposed quote journal, or on these four by four posters. I've kind of moved into doing a lot of home decor and canvases using basically the same techniques. But because you're some working on so much larger, a lot of the colors and a lot of the products that I bought for art journaling, I don't use on those. So it's nice to be able to go and dig out my stamps and the things that I've collected and use them. So the purpose of the index card a day challenge is to create every day. And, you know, the reason that she recommends using an index card is because it's a less than perfect substrate and it's not so valuable. So I printed out these sentiments on these Avery clear shipping labels. You just put it through your laser printer and it prints out on there and it's a matte finish. So basically you're making your own word, word stickers and I absolutely love it. Now this BU, the, the collection of quotes that you just saw there, those are actually smaller than the ones that are available in the sentiment packs. And I was able to shrink them down within my Word program. I'm trying to do some research and figuring out a way of being a, you guys being able to do that. And I know you can, but it's a, it's a setting on your printer, not on the PDF. So depending on your printer, you may or may not be able to shrink it down, scale it down to size. Now, because they're clear, if there's a too much busyness going on underneath it, you it may be difficult to read the words. So I thought, you know, I'm going to paint this pink, make it more one tone, get rid of some of the contrast, and then you'll be able to better see the black lettering. And I like that effect. So I guesstimated the where I was putting it and the size of it.
And it's I, what I also like. I love that it's matte. It's not this shiny sticker. And I'm just shading around this. It, you can see that it's there. Depending on the color and what's going on underneath it, you will see it less or more. But it's a lot less visible than if I was using the white one. And it's actually easier to do it, paint it this way than to paint the sentiments. So I'm just doing some more shading on the clipboard part, the purple part right now, just to put some shadows in. Now, if you're doing this on an art journal page and you're not going to worry about varnishing it, then you can use a Stabilo Owl pencil for this. You could use a watercolor pencil or Neo Color 2 or Gelato because you're not going to be reactivating it. We're, this, we're in the final stages. Just gluing everything down with the gel medium. If you go to my YouTube channel, there is a playlist, Index Card A Day, ICAD 2019, and you will be able to find all the, uh, all my ICAD vid videos. There's also, you can go back in time and see them for the last three years as well. So I'm really liking how this turned out. I like the background. I like how everything just kind of came together. I think this is, I think my friend is going to really love this. And I definitely am going to make more. Now, I, this, this is just he, adhesive magnetic strip and I'm cutting it to three and a half by three and a half. And I'm just putting the marks in and then I'm just going to cut it with the X-Acto knife and, you know, using the straight edge of this metal ruler. I like that the magnet is so solid. You could, of course, put less magnet if that's what you want. Now, I was able, I can only find them at the dollar store. People have suggested that you can get vent covers, magnetic vent covers and use that magnetic strip, but then you'd have to find your own adhesive because there is no adhesive on there. And there, I found some that are fairly inexpensive if you're ordering off of Amazon. And I'll put the link to the cardboard coasters, the stamps, the stencils, everything that I've you've seen me use here, I will put a link to as long as I can find the link. Now I'm putting color on the back because it, this is a gift. When you put the color on the back, you have to make sure that your front isn't going to get color on it. And I could have painted this all black and just have it black in the back, or I'm just like I'm doing, I'm just doing the colors that we have in the front. So it all works together. So there you go, peel and stick. And it's got good adhesive on it. This one I just, like I said, I got mine from the dollar store. So I'm, after looking at it, I decide, nope, I need to do the fine line bottle. And I'm just gonna go around the edge to give it that just finishing look. It just frames it. And I find that I, I do better, but get easier straight lines if I'm pushing the bottle away from myself. But you'll figure out which way works best for you.
And then I decide I'm going to go around here as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share this with your creative friends. I also hope that you're joining in on this index card a day challenge. Remember, it's your challenge. Make it what you need it to be. Bye for now.